Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, very welcome. So today I am back with another bag review video. So before I get into the review, I like to put disclaimer out that everything has been purchased with my own money. I've not been sponsored or paid to do this video. So now let's get into the review. So today I'm going to talk about the Charles and Kate um, Velvet Bow Detail Book Bag and this is a lovely bag um so let me tell you what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna talk, tell you about all the details of this bag and then i'm gonna go into the pros and cons and then my whether i recommend this bag or not so that's what i'm gonna do so um this is a green color but um from my research i believe it comes with all sorts of colors like black light yellow light gray dark gray red mauve and taupe and it only comes in one size and it's approximately around 90 euros and let me tell you the measurements so the width is 17 centimeters the height is 21 centimeters and the depth is 13 centimeters so it's a quite a decent size bag and um what does it come with so it has a magnetic closure at the top and you open it up and it comes with a crossbody strap so it looks like this so so it's a chain at the bottom, but then like on the shoulder part, it's the leather part. I don't actually, I don't think it's real leather. I believe it's a uh, faux leather and um, it matches the bag, same color. And then it says Charles and Kate at the bottom there in the same color hardware as the strap. And it comes with two bows. That's why it's called the velvet bow because the bows are in are made from velvet it's a velvet material um when you open it up it comes with a little pouch so the pouch is um the same color as the inside so i don't know if you can tell so the outer part it's more of a dark green and the inside is more of a mint color so if you compare like this yeah so the pouch has the same color as the inner color the inner lining and uh, it also says Charles and Kate and it's detachable so you can detach it from it and use it somewhere else so let me open this up so it says Charles and Kate on it and then open and then it's the same same color as inside so it's, it's great to um, put your keys anything expensive um, or important while you use this bag because since there's a magnetic closure at the top you know um, I have lots of stuff in there. Um, it's quite easy and prone to um, pickpocketing by others. So I normally put like some cash, my house keys, and my credit cards in here. So I'm and also latch it on to the strap inside that comes with it, and then I feel very safe. The other things this is probably my headset, and so less important, you know. And where's this bag made from? I can't tell. Sorry. Uh, but I can't tell where this is made from. Um, but yeah, Charles and Keith is a Singaporean brand, so I'm guessing it'd be maybe around Singapore, or maybe in China for cheaper production. So yeah, it comes with a handle, metal handle, and it's the same color as the strap as well. And I love the strap because it's so unique different to others yeah and it's fits perfectly crossbody so it if I do crossbody it fits on top of my hip uh, for your reference I am 158 centimeters in height so that's five foot two so if you're anyone taller then I'll be too short for you to crossbody but if you're it's around the same height as me or smaller then I think it will um, be the great length um, and you can handheld this so it's a great bag um, it fits a lot of stuff I, I think you can tell this is like a medium size bag but it's a bucket bag so it's so so sorry there's like tissues and there's receipts and stuff so yeah I took them out so yeah it fits a lot of stuff in it you can I definitely fit bottles of water I fit like now my Samsung S20 phone I fit a, a small makeup pouch it's like you can literally put anything in there and it's a very decent size and it's um i know it's very like there's a really lovely sheen but it's not painted it's just there's a really nice gloss on this faux leather yeah i do not believe this is leather 
doesn't feel like leather but it looks like leather um even the real person so yeah so let me go into the um pros and cons i think this was a lovely bag a lovely bucket bag it's so different to other bucket bags that i've owned and ever seen like um this actually comes with a top handle and then the um Oh, yeah, I forgot the strap is um, adjustable and also detachable as well. So you can detach it from here. You know, um, very unique looking, it's beautiful, and it comes with all sorts of colors, all sorts of combos and stuff. And um, a very good price point as well for such a good looking, um, good quality bag. And yeah. Oh, yeah. And what does this come with? I I forgot to mention um apart from the care cards that it comes with which I no longer have it comes with a dust bag and I don't have the dust bag as well I lost it um I don't know where it went um but however the dust bag it's I don't know if you're familiar with Charles and Keith their dust bags are like a shopping bag so it comes with like a handle I can show you one from um another Charles and Keith bag that I own and you've probably seen a review on that as well Oh, that's gonna fall. So it looks like this. So obviously it um the what the the dust bag that comes with this will be a lot bigger. Um but it looks like this. It says Charles on Keith and then also has the um handles here. So alternatively you can like hang it on like anywhere your house or if you don't use a dust bag then you can actually use it for other purposes like putting your lunch in there and stuff like that i think this is great this is a great design i love it yeah and i believe it's the same color from what i remember but it's just a lot bigger because to be able to fit this in yeah so if you haven't seen the video that i did a review on this charles and kate uh, bag please check it out um it's it's a great bag and i talked a lot about it as well so let me put this to the side here so this is the um the Charles and Keith bucket bag and another thing is like I've been using this for so long, a couple of years now, and there's no tarnishing whatsoever on this bag. So it's great. I've been I have not baby this at all whatsoever. So yeah, hundred percent um I don't see any tarnishing anywhere. Okay, sorry, I lied. I can see it now but very little so it's where all where you can detach the chain from just I think that's very normal but on the handles on the on the chain itself there's nothing whatsoever I don't see any tarnishing there yeah I don't see anything it's great yeah even on the buckle and stuff yeah and then I think the cons of this would be the velvet button uh, velvet ribbon not buttons velvet ribbon like in I, as you know velvet some like they tend to look worn out very quickly and this is exactly what's happening in through my phone it looks oh it's still pretty new but in person it looks really well worn like you know there are what it looks white and stuff here it looks really nice the blue yeah but in person it looks a bit white casted oh excuse me white casted you dropped it and stuff and at the side here you can see yeah there's worn and that so so it, without the ribbons i think the bag itself you would think this is literally brand new but like with the ribbons you can tell oh yeah this this has been used this has been loved very much and another thing is um i think it depends on where you live um if you live in europe i think you can order you can get charles and keith's um uh, products on their website however there's import duties and, uh, and they're pretty high you know then like their bags are um medium ranged priced and it i think if you add on the import duties on a tax and all those kind of stuff it makes the bag extra expensive it becomes a little bit too expensive for the quality and stuff so if you live in europe i think for me it's definitely a count however if you live in asia where they have shut the stores i think that's not common because you can just literally get it from a store and they often do discounts as well so uh, which is great um yeah so i think really really look it's really the ribbon and the and getting the bag it's a con like getting import duties and stuff like that. i know you have to pay for that but it's still 
overall it makes the bag more expensive. So it's really only those two things that I would consider a con. Um, would I recommend this bag? Absolutely yes. I think it's very lovely. The color is beautiful. The, um, the material is really nice as well. I think the overall aesthetic, it's amazing. It's very different and all, but it's still that they still kept the classiness of a bucket bag. So, so I will highly recommend it. Um, if you can get your hands on one or any of the Charles and Keith products, I think they do very good bags. Um, I love their bags. I haven't tried any of their shoes or accessories and stuff. Not accessories. I mean like SLG and stuff like that and um, sunglasses, but their bags. I love them. I have a lot of their bags. Uh, yeah, and this is one of my favorite as well. So yeah, 100% recommend it. Um, yeah, so that really concludes my review. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below or you can private message me. And if you really like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like my video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.